So we are gonna be talking about how to care for our hair as we are coming into the colder and wetter months of the year. So this is tip number one, you guys, drinking way more water than you normally would in a more humid climate because there is not water in the atmosphere to be even taken in by your hair. So your body's gonna use what it can to help hydrate your body. So if you can double up or even drink a quarter more, it's gonna help your hair in so many great ways. Tip number two is use a spray bottle to refresh your hair. So spraying your hair every day to help refresh it and bring some life and water to it is going to make a huge difference when it comes to drier, colder months. Tip number three is actually doing a co-wash during the week. This is where it's acceptable to co-wash is midweek. You use that conditioner just to brush it through your hair. It's gonna bring more moisture back to your hair. And in fact, it's gonna be able to have your hair last throughout the week. And trust me, this works like a charm. So tip number four is using moisturizing products because without moisture, you're not gonna have curl defin definition. And without moisture, you're not going to be able to relate, retain length and grow longer hair. My favorite product recommendation is of course, the Swirly Curly Mango Moringa Moisture Max line. It is all about moisture and it does moisturize your hair fantastically. All right, you guys, tip number five, skip excessive oils. Now, a lot of people think that hydration comes from oils when in fact, it actually comes from water. If you want to add another product to your hair is add your styling cream for the Moisture Max line. All right, you guys, and my last and final tip, and this one is a really important tip. Now there's products that have glycerin in it. And a lot of people talk about using glycerin to their hair as a humectant. Humectants love to find water in whichever way it can. So if you're putting a humectant on your hair, like glycerin and such, it is actually gonna take the water out of your hair and put it into the atmosphere. So you guys, whether you're in a very humid climate or if you're in a dry climate, doing glycerin on its own isn't the best solution for your hair.